Hi, Jason Canal, GQ Barbecue. It's the middle of winter and it's cold outside. You looking for something to warm you up? Today I'm gonna to show you a chili recipe, but just not any chili recipe, a champion chili recipe. If you wanna see how we do that, it's coming up right now. Here at GQ Barbecue, we are all about the grilling and chilling lifestyle. If that's something that interests you, smash down that subscription button, hit that bell notification, and you won't miss any of our videos. So the inspiration for today's video comes from the Chili Appreciation Society website. Cassie, I'll put a link to it down below. On their website, they list the recipes to all the Terralinga chili cook-off champions. It's an absolute awesome website with a lot of great information and how to cook championship chili recipes. We did a video in the past where we featured two-time champion Margaret Nado's Red Saharan Chili Recipe. If you'd like to see that, go ahead and click that link above. But support these guys. I love people that get behind competitive cooks and Cassie does that for the chili world. The first thing every pit master out here in Colorado needs to learn how to do is how to knock the ice off their pit. I'm gonna keep both vents open and allow the heat to come up. Once we get a good fire going, I'm gonna put the lid on it, clamp down the vents, and we're gonna hit about a 275 target temperature. That's gonna allow us to cook at a medium, medium low heat. I'm gonna follow Brent's recipe pretty closely. I'm not gonna be doing everything exactly the same, but where I don't do it the same, I will let you know how he does it. One of the things to keep in mind is that this is a competition chili recipe. So you can't use big old chunks of onions or big old chunks of peppers or anything like that that will disqualify you. However, if you like to use those kind of things in your chili, go ahead and use them. This is a competition chili recipe, so you can only use competition approved type ingredients. Brent uses 80-20 ground chuck. He cooks it in bacon grease. I don't have bacon grease, but I have ghee. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a half of the ghee into the pot get that going and when that melts down I'm going to add the 80-20 ground chuck to it. So we got our ghee melted down. Again that would be bacon grease if you're following the recipe. I'm going to go ahead and add the 80-20 ground beef. This is two pounds. One of the things that's going to be different about this and the way Brent does that is we're doing this on the smoker so I expect to impart some good smoke flavor into the ground beef. I'm going to let this cook until it browns and then we'll be on to the next step. One thing Brent adds is as this cooks, you break it up into no smaller than golf ball sized chunks. After it gets to cook for a little while, Brent seasons it with seasoned salt and onion powder. Like most recipes, it's extremely scientific. So Brent likes to add 10 shakes of Louisiana hot sauce. We're gonna add one can of beef broth. Brent likes the Swanson's brand. Then a half can of chicken broth. This is not the low sodium. This is full sodium chicken broth and beef broth. To that, we're gonna add two ounces of water and a Weiler's beef cube. Brent cooks the meat separately than when he puts all these ingredients in. I don't have the space for that, so I'm putting it all into one. If you cook it all into one, the only thing you need to remember is to drain off the grease from the meat before you put the meat into the stock pot. So we are now gonna bring this up to a boil before we put in what is called dump number one. So our broths have come to a boil. So we are now ready to do what is called dump number one. Remember, if you're cooking your meat separate, it's gonna be everything except for the meat, and we would add the meat after this first dump. However, we're doing it all together. So the very first thing we're gonna add is what we call the chili spice mixture. And the chili spice mixture is one tablespoon of the San Antonio Original, one tablespoon of the Maxine chili powder, two tablespoons of the San Antonio Red, two tablespoons of the Cowtown Light, and one tablespoon of RT, and I have no idea what RT is, so there's no RT in this. Next, we will add three-fourths teaspoon of chicken granules, one teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of granulated onion, a pinch of red jalapeno powder. I have green jalapeno powder. 
a pinch of salt, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and one package of Saison Goya. We're gonna let this simmer for a few minutes to allow all of those wonderful spices to dissolve. Now that those spices are dissolved, eight ounces of Hunt's tomato sauce. We're now gonna let this cook covered for 30 minutes. So this has been cooking for 30 minutes. I'm going to remove it from the heat and let it rest for one hour off the heat, covered, and then we're going to bring it back up to a boil and put in our second dump. So the chili has been resting for one hour. I'm going to return it back to the pit, bring it up to our boil, and we'll add our second dump. So the chili's been cooking for a little while. Let's see if we got that boil going. We got that boil going, so we're ready for dump number two. First thing we're going to add is our chili spice mixture. We've got three tablespoons of that. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of the granulated garlic and one package of Saison Goya. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of cumin. And then we have a half teaspoon of brown sugar and then one more pinch of salt. So this is the point where Brent likes to break up all of his meat. He recommends using a potato smasher to breaking up those golf ball sized chunks of ground beef. If you're at home and you're watching this on your computer screen, or if you're watching this on your cell phone, you are not getting the benefits of what I am smelling right now. The chili powders, the garlic, the onion, the smoke coming off the coals below. This is an absolute treat of all these delicious aromas coming together. So our chili is done. What I recommend doing is tasting it and adjust if needed. Add some more heat, add some more sweet, add some more savory salt, whatever you like. Make it the way that you're gonna enjoy it. this nice bowl of championship chili right here. Well, not exactly championship, but pretty darn close. We've got that good smoky flavor into the meat. We have no idea what RT is, but other than that, it's pretty darn accurate other than us cooking it all in one pot. If these live fire instruction videos are helpful to you, go ahead and click on my face and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out Margaret Nadal's 2005-2009 championship chili recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Jason Canal TQ Barbecue. We'll see you on the next one.